share this channel on the internet. Welcome back everybody to the wettest channel on the internet and yep we're on the skis on another water adventure but this is part two I'm gonna leave a link on the description below and you can watch so the four of us headed out with the skis this is actually her first time riding a jet ski so uh, we'll see you at the end of the day it's her first time on the jet ski and guess what she's going on the fastest one she's gonna get the full ride experience so we headed over to fort myers beach there's a lot of people here for it being damaged up and it was great to see how many people were out enjoying the day like us but on the beach and also the water was great because it was refreshing but okita wanted to refresh herself in the outside and in the inside and this is something i love about the west coast you can just pull up on the beach on the boat on the ski grab yourself a drink or even a hamburger too and we enjoyed fort myers beach about an hour or so and then we decided to take our fun somewhere else because it is an exploration day on the jet skis and we also wanted to show our guests some different spots so uh, what do you think about the west coast beaches so far it's amazing it's super peaceful the weather is amazing as well i had a lot of fun on the jet ski we got really really fast <laughs> almost went flying but if you don't fly you're doing it wrong <laughs> and we're right where we left off and remember if you want to check out part one the link will be below and for those people that follow me on instagram and are paying attention yep you got it july 29th hello sandbar come hang out okay so a few people have left the comments about the mask that me and Fariquito are wearing. It's not really a mask, it's just to cover up from the sun. And you can find it at the online store, frescochannel.com. And remember, always be careful coming in and going out. Make sure you don't hit none of the swimmers. And yep, now we're heading to Sanibel. And that's just across the water. And it's skipping hop. Well, it takes us about, I want to say, 10 minutes or less. Well, you can notice the trees that the wind has picked up since we left. And that's the usual because it is about 3.30 in the afternoon. Because if it's not rain, it's wind. Now that's something strange about the West Coast. But nor wind or rain is going to keep us home or make us go back home. But does it make your ride uncomfortable? Well, it does. But it's okay. And it's really choppy. Oh, and it's current too. I know. Yeah, I was gonna beach it, but it's too hard. I was gonna beach it, but it's too rough.
And if any of you guys are shell pickers like Ogita, well, Sanibel Beach is a perfect place to come and get them. Because like you see, there's plenty here and you have many varieties to choose from too. But if you don't want to do any shell picking and you just want to enjoy the water and the nice sand, well, Sanibel has that too. And this reminds me, when I meet the locals in the stores or the gas station or even on the beach or out on the boat, the first thing they tell me is I'm attracting too many people to the west coast and they want to keep it a secret. But I say that's not fair. Other people should come enjoy the beautiful beaches here too. getting pretty lucky so far I mean it's windy but so far we're not getting wet because the clouds are around us but not on top I guess mother nature gave us a protective shield today at least from the rain and by the way I would like to give a big thank you for those subscribers that watch all the videos it doesn't matter if it's about jet skiing fishing boating or just hanging around the house thank you so much for watching and your support and I know some watch it for entertainment others for curiosity and some just to check out the hot spots around South Florida but most of you watch it because you love the water as much as we do and well at least I love the water Gita loves show picking because we're all waiting for her and while we were patiently waiting for Gita we almost got caught by the low tide and definitely you need two people to move the jet ski because they weighed about 800 pounds so after struggling and dragging the jet skis we got it out of the sand but now we gotta drag Ogita out of Sanibel and that is harder than the jet skis and something good to remember once you get your jet ski out and into the water make sure it's about two feet deep before you start it because you don't want to suck up the sand or rocks that could be sucked up into your cooling system and damage the prop Yep, here she comes with a bag full. And it was getting pretty difficult between the current, the wind blowing, and the waves, it was making it hard to stay still and for her to get on. And definitely, you don't want to go to the shallow either because you don't want to suck up any sand. I almost had to leave her. No, I'm just joking. Well, that was a little challenge, but we got it through, and now we're gonna head over to our next nearby destination, and that is my favorite little island here on the west coast. Even though the hurricane came through here with 10 foot of water over the normal level, it still survived. But it took down a lot of trees and took a lot of sand too. But glad we still have enough to enjoy. And I know eventually Mother Nature will put the sand back and all the beautiful trees. But until then, we'll keep coming back and watch the island prosper to its natural habitat. And this is something that I love about the local boaters here. A lot of people visit these islands, but yet I've never seen trash anywhere. And so far so good, like you see, we're having lots of fun in the sun, but something is missing, right? And it's what I like to consider the best part of the day. Yep, food time, but no sausage time today, just cold fruits. Nice spot here. Loving the exploration today. We're doing a West Coast tour. Yeah. And look at her. 
And there you have it. That's why I love this island because it's peaceful and quiet and beautiful at the same time even though it got hit by the hurricane pretty bad. But you still have enough to enjoy it. And this place is very popular during the summertime and also on winter time because people camp out on the island. And that's something that I'm looking forward to do one day in the future. And this is sad to see because this tree was huge and it had a rope swing but is no longer standing due to the hurricane. And after about an hour or so of enjoying Picnic Island and relaxing, it's about that time to get up and get going because we still have a 45 minute cruise back to the house. And definitely gotta watch out the tides because it caught us one more time. destroyed it here man uh, we, we, we haven't been here since before the hurricane and you know they, they it knocked over the tree that had the rope swing yeah, knocked over a couple things. that was a quick pit stop at uh picnic island now we're riding riding Well, this is really sad to see. I guess somebody's boat must have got stranded through the hurricane and winded up here. I'm just very curious how come they haven't removed it, especially it's close to the navigating channel. Have it guys we have taken you today on a jet ski tour of the west side we went to four mars beach sanibel and my favorite little island picnic island and also we got to see a sunken sailboat the day was a little windy but no rain just a lot of fun and the sun and until next time i'll catch you guys out in the water and by the way guys i'll be in miami this weekend maybe on the skis maybe on the hydro i don't know just gotta watch out and see